Hello everyone, I'm Greg Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 59 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are working to increase our plastic production, because that was very low and we could not keep up our uh, blue science production for our science, so we're working on getting more protein and just going through all the nooks and crannies to do that. Now, we made sure that we could get some more raw gas and gas condensates out of this. We are now using all of our natural gas, that's good I guess. So only some of those are working. That means this will be running faster and this will be running faster from the raw gas, sorry. <laughs> and we'll then producing more natural gas liquids for Methane, ethane, and butane. And we're then using the methane to make methanol. I guess we should be increasing the natural gas liquids refining as well. Because why not? Oh no, out of pipe. Are we using all of the ethane and butane? I don't think we're actually using any of that, right? We're just burning it. Should we not try and find out what we can use those for? Butane. So this is where we're getting it. We can crack it even more, apparently, to get benzene. Which we can then make toluene out of, or ethyl benzene, or phenyl, or acetone and phenyl. Nah, we're not gonna <laughs> spend our time on, time on that. How about the ethane, then? Ethane gas can be cracked into ethylene. Polyethylene and ethyl oh ethyl benzene, the other one. Or for some propionic acid. <laughs> okay, that's not very interesting for me right now either. So let's just make sure that we keep our propene production up. So now we should have more than enough methane, right? Or do we not produce a lot of that? Methane, 50 every 14, no, every 6 seconds, sorry. By 3, so every 2 second, seconds. 50 every 2 seconds. This needs 60 every 4 seconds. So if we just duplicated this, we would have a bit more refining than we can supply the methane for, I guess. A chemical plant or a gas refinery? A steam cracker, sorry. So these, we don't have what we need to make those, so let's go back.
our plastic production should already have kicked up a little bit, but probably still not nearly enough. Nope. Should we start requesting all of Angel's machines? Or is that just way too much space used on that? It's probably not the best idea. Hmm. So we were also preparing to kill some Bylas. I don't really think we wanted turret 2 because it was only a what, 25% damage increase from turret 1s? And they are a lot more expensive, so I would rather just put down more turrets, I guess. It also costs more ammo, of course, but I think that's okay. We can't do this stuff yet. We should still focus on turrets, I think. So, ammo damage, I guess. Sure. Now, where are we producing steam crackers? Chemical plant. Gas refinery. Should we just stack up on those? Whoops. Just have one stack, I guess. Oil and gas separator. Let's just fill up on that. Chemical plant. We have two stacks, that's fine. Liquefier. Are we not producing the steam crackers? That sounds like something different when you say it like that. As in crackers. Or am I just blind electrolyzer? What's this? What does it look like again? This thing. Three tanks at the bottom or something like that. I really don't see it. It is getting... Oh, down here. Okay. Let's just get one stack of those. It is still just plastic that we need, right? Yes, for red circuits we need more transistors, and transistors is just limited on plastic down here. Good. Still because of low propene. We aren't using any blue circuit or blue science right now though, but that should kick in in a few, or just in the next research, I guess. So, methanol. We are still low on raw gas, okay. Is that just because we don't mine enough natural gas? Looks like it. Fourteen plus fifteen plus almost twenty per second. Should be fifty per second. We are expecting to be able to use a hundred, two hundred per second. So that makes sense. We can't make speed modules yet, right? No. 
Okay, do we have another natural gas deposit anywhere in sight? Not really, nope. Oh well, we will have to make do with, with what we have. So this is not running very fast because the crude oil. So let's actually do what I talked about earlier with also having some oil refineries doing the basic recipe. If we can make one of these. Dang it, I should have brought a stack of those. So we're actually getting low on military science as well. Which I guess makes sense. We are doing a lot of military research right now. Is our production just that low? It seems like it. Okay, so it was oil refinery. Just one stack, please. Also, we're actually done with this production block, so we should probably just... ...do that. At least we're done with it for now. It's not very scalable, but we have... ...concrete brick coming in. So, oil stuff. Now this is in the way again, of course. Have we gotten any recipes to start using this? Or anything we want to use it for? Oil residuals. Ingredient in. Residual gas. Residual gas can become petroleum jelly. Let's just see what we can use this for. Cordite. Doesn't sound like something we want for a long time. Well, we can already... ...use it for some of this stuff. So... ...mix it with crude oil. This one. So make the gas residuals into oil residual. Oh, oil residuals into residual gas, sorry. Then mix it with crude oil again to get more base mineral, fuel oil, and naphtha. It's naphtha that we really want for more propene, though. But I guess we're just burning the other two. We are also already using it for lubricant. We can also make it into fuel oil. No oh, liquid fuel, sorry. Or at some point we can make it into synthesis gas, which I guess we can just do a lot of stuff with as far as I remember. For example, into methane, ethane, butane, along with the natural gas that we're already doing. A lot more methane than the others do, so that might be a good recipe for us uh, in here. We're currently using natural gas liquids for 50 methane for every 100 natural gas. I shouldn't have closed that. Oil residuals into residual gas into synthesis gas 
and then into this stuff. What else can we do? More methane, but with the catalysts this time, okay. Can also make naphtha directly from it and carbon monoxide. All this is blocked behind synthesis gas processing. Can we actually do that? Whoops. In here, we can research all of this if we want to. It would definitely help us. But maybe we should look into what we can do right now instead of being distracted. So it's methane. Well, maybe we should just look at residual gas as an ingredient. We can do this. Whoops. But I'm not sure this would produce more nafta out of the crude oil than just the base recipe would. So this is 60 to 10 nafta. Another recipe would be if I can find my way around. This 150, so no, that is not a better ratio. Let's start cleaning up after ourselves here. This one is done. Aluminium is not done. This is not done, and this is not done. Okay. So this recipe is just better for it, the base oil cracking. Anything else? Wait. Oh, stop it. Down here. This can be used for that only. We don't want this because we want the most possible nafta. Already getting lubricant, whoops. So we could do liquid fuel, but I don't think we really need it for anything other than, well, fuel. And napalm. We could do that, of course. It has a nice fuel value. And this again is just an offshoot because we don't really need to get rid of this right now. I just considered it. So we could do that. But we could also see if there's any other way to get rid of this. For example, directly into methane, ethane and butane. So the methane is what we want. So with steam and some natural gas liquids, we can get some methane. Oh, some methane. Is this a better ratio of natural gas liquids to methane than, than the other recipe? Let's have a look. Methane. Two 
200 natural gas liquids to 100 methane as compared to 250 to 100 methane. Why is that so much worse? Or not so much worse, but it's worse. Why would you make a more advanced recipe that gives you worse ratios? Maybe because this also gives, gives you toluene liquid, which you can use for explosives. So that is not the way we want to go. Then there's only the synthesis gas that we need a lot of research for. Which we could then mix with the natural gas liquids. Which would give us a better recipe. Almost twice as good. We could also do the one with the catalyst. This doesn't even require uh, natural gas liquids. Just hydrogen and we have a lot of that. Blue metal catalysts though, I don't know what those are all about. Cobalt, which we don't have yet, and titanium. We might be able to make some cobalt, but yeah, we're not gonna do that. That would make this way, way, way longer of a production line than we want right now. <clears throat> so, not this recipe, just this one. Are we going to research all of the stuff for that? If I could spell. It's not really that much research. So it should be actually pretty, pretty quick. All of these is just 50 science each. And 50 seconds for each science. So pretty fast. Mm. It is gonna prevent us from doing our other research though, but maybe that's okay. It will eventually make the research faster. So now we have several things we want to do and I'm confused again because I'm stupid and can't just focus on one thing at a time. So we want to do this, but we need all the research first. This is a recipe we also want to do because we have too much crude oil anyway. This was just to compare recipes, so let's remove that. So we basically want to do this whole thing. This thing we can do now, which would also help us. We just need to get this to somewhere where we can then turn it into residual gas and then into the synthesis gas, if I could speak. But we're working towards that. And that gives us the synthesis. God damn, I can't say that. The gas that we need already. It's just the refining of that gas we don't have yet then. So, synthesis gas into these things, I guess. Correct. Oh, not that one. Wait, maybe it's not correct. Maybe it's only the advanced one we need to do this for. Gas steam cracking. This gives us this.
it should say in here what is required, right? Whoops, don't... Let's focus. Is it not supposed to tell me the science it's hidden behind? Is it only the... what's it really used for that says that? Whoops. Uh, residual gas into synthesis gas into this advanced gas processing. So in here, okay. Well, let's finish this first, because that gives us one of the requirements. Let's pin this, if I can find the buttons. Let's remove the top one here. Don't do that. Pin it all over, please. Thank you. Okay. So I need this moved. Or we could just move these to the other side of it and also bring those that in, the output from these. So the base. Do we want to mix it with hydrogen? That gives us a lot of nafta. Maybe that's actually a very good idea. Only we need to bring the hydrogen in then. But we have plenty of hydrogen, right? Yeah, we're burning it already. Cool. I didn't even know about that recipe. And this is the one we didn't want to do. This is the one that we're currently doing. 40 crude oil to 30 nafta, and now we're going to do 90 crude oil to 70 nafta. Sure. As long as we don't need a lot of base mineral oil and fuel oil. We don't have a lot of base mineral oil actually. What are we using that, that, that for? For lubricant? Are we just burning the lubricant then? Oh moly, sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm stupid. So we did try and... Is it because it's trying to use the residual gas here? But couldn't we just burn the residual gas as well? We are burning the residual gas. So, so there's no real problem in us not spending the base mineral oil, right? And we can just burn it if we get too much. So what stopped me from limiting this earlier? Is there a reason for me to not limit it? I mean, if we want to use the mineral oil for something else at some point, then yes. I don't think there's a reason to limit that right now, actually. It just feels wrong to just produce stuff to burn it. And it does take power, of course, but are we really worried about that? Advanced, was it gas processing? Yes, it was. And we don't need the fuel oil for anything yet either. <clears throat> so that's all good. Mm, this is a bit in the way, but let's just move these out one tile.
And we then, of course, need to bring in the hydrogen. But that should be easy. I hope. So this we will just bring in as usual. Then I guess we'll just have the hydrogen down here. So we can still get a belt over this way. Yep. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.